could alien life exist on worlds where the conditions are so harsh that life as we know it couldn't survive? Well, it just so happens that right here on Earth, there are creatures that have made us redefine what we mean by life as we know it, and they're called extremophiles. And if we're going to be able to identify extremophiles on other planets, we better know what we're looking for. That's why I'm in Carlsbad, New Mexico, to meet up with astrobiologist Penny Boston. Astrobiologists try to figure out what life on other planets might look like by finding life on our own planet living under extraterrestrial conditions. And Penny and her colleague Mike are taking me to find extremophiles right here on Earth, life that thrives in a place where life seems impossible. Shh, be very quiet. We're hunting extremophiles. We're heading for Spider Cave, and this is one of the caves that we've been studying for over 15 years. We're going to climb down into this tiny little hole into the underground wonder. Holy holly akala! Bye. Welcome to my cave. <laughs> holy macaroni. Now I know what toothpaste feels like. Man, that, that is a tight spot. We wound our way downward past stalactites and stalagmites. A hundred feet below ground, we finally reached our ultimate destination, a wall of poop. All that colored material is residue. The extremophiles down here are microscopic bacteria. And this it's, is bacteria poop. They have very beautiful and colorful poop. Well, who doesn't? Incredibly, these extremophiles live without sunlight and with virtually no water. These guys are adapted to extremely low nutrient environments. A lot of them actually make their living by using the energy that's locked up in minerals. Basically, they eat rocks. We had a heck of a time persuading our colleagues that we were actually finding intrinsic life forms that were living in here. Well, uh, let's dig out some extremophiles. Woo! All right, so that blade is now sterile. So I'll just scrape some of this. It's not too often an astronomer gets to do hands-on science. You know, we're sitting at a telescope or sitting at a computer, taking what's essentially a pocket knife and scraping away at ancient life that is unlike life that we're used to is uh, pretty cool, I gotta say. <laughs> the Earth is expelling us. Whoa, daylight. 